Beyond its iconic design and long-range missions, the B-2 has several lesser-known facts. Its development was so secretive that Northrop Grumman had to invent many of the manufacturing tools and processes from scratch. The B-2's flight controls are so complex due to its tailless design that it relies on a sophisticated fly-by-wire system, with the computers constantly making adjustments to keep the aircraft stable. Pilots undergo extensive training in circadian rhythms and fatigue management for their ultra-long missions, and they have a small bunk, toilet, and microwave on board. The aircraft stealth is so demanding that it requires 120 hours of maintenance on the ground for every hour it flies, with a sensitive radar absorbing coating needing constant, meticulous care in climate-controlled hangars. The B-2 Spirit is a long-range, strategic bomber designed for both conventional and nuclear missions. Its internal bomb bays are crucial to maintaining its stealth profile, and it can carry a massive payload of 40,000 pounds or 18,000 kilograms. Depending on the mission, the B-2 can also deploy a wide variety of bombs and missiles, including the B-83 nuclear bomb. The B-2 Spirit stealth bomber can carry up to 16 B-83 nuclear bombs. The B-83 weighs approximately 2,400 pounds and the B-2 has a total payload capacity of 40,000 pounds, allowing it to carry full load of these weapons. It is the most powerful nuclear weapon currently in the US arsenal, with a maximum selectable yield of 1.2 megatons, roughly 80 times the power of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The B-83 was intended to replace several older weapons and was the first to incorporate insensitive explosive for enhanced safety against accidental detonation. B-83 is a two-stage weapon with plutonium primary and a lithium deuterite secondary. The B-83 can be delivered from various strategic bomber aircraft and is equipped with a parachute retardation system for low-altitude delivery. It was designed to target hardened underground facilities like missile silos and command bunkers. The B-61 nuclear bomb Another family of nuclear gravity bombs with different variants and yields in the B-61. The mass of the B-61 nuclear bomb varies by version, but most models like the B-6112 weighs approximately 700 to 715 pounds. The Earth-penetrating B-61 Mod 11 version is heavier, at about 1,200 pounds, which means the aircraft can carry up to 33 of these. Its yield is widely reported to be 400 kilotons. The GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator is a 30,000-pound GPS-guided bunker buster bomb developed by Boeing for the U.S. Air Force. Designed to destroy hardened, deeply buried targets like command centers or nuclear facilities, its key feature is a hardened steel alloy casing that allows it to penetrate up to 200 feet of earth or 60 feet of reinforced concrete before its 5,300-pound explosive payload detonates. Due to its immense size and weight, the GBU-57 can only be carried by the B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider strategic bombers. The weapon's precision is managed by GPS, INS guidance systems and a smart fuse that controls the timing of the detonation for maximum effect. The JDAM is a guidance kit that transforms unguided dumb bombs into accurate, all-weather smart munitions. Developed jointly by the US Air Force and Navy, the kit consists of a tail section with an inertial navigation system and GPS receiver. Before release, the aircraft's computer transfers target coordinates to the JDAM. Once dropped, the JDAM's control fins steer it autonomously to the target using GPS-aided INS. The cost-effective solution provides a near-precision strike capability against fixed or relocatable targets, even in adverse weather conditions that would hinder other guided weapons. The B-2 can carry a large number of these bombs, such as GBU-31 and GBU-38 JDAM. The AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon The AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon is a family of unpowered, air-to-surface glide bombs developed by the US Navy and Air Force. Designed to be launched from a safe standoff distance, 
Its pop-up wings allow it to glide up to 70 nautical miles from high altitudes, keeping the launching aircraft out of range of enemy defenses. The weapon uses GPS or INS guidance systems for navigation, with some variants like the AGM-154C also incorporating an imaging infrared seeker for enhanced terminal guidance. The JSOW is a modular weapon, different variants carrying various payloads, including submunitions for area targets and a hardened penetrator warhead for hardened structures. The AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASM. The AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASM, is a stealthy, long-range cruise missile designed to strike high-value, heavily defended targets. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the subsonic weapon is powered by a turbojet engine and carries a 1,000-pound penetrating warhead. Its key advantage is a low observable airframe and a standoff range of over 200 nautical miles, which keeps the launching aircraft like the B-1B, the B-2 and F-16 out of range of enemy air defenses. An extended range variant, the AGM-158B JSSMER, significantly releases its range to over 500 nautical miles, enhancing both survivability and mission flexibility. The Mark 82 and Mark 84 These are the most common unguided general-purpose bombs in the U.S. inventory. Part of the larger Mark 80 series, they are aerodynamically streamlined and designed for maximum blast and fragmentation effects. The key difference is their size and weight. The Mark 82 has a nominal weight of 500 pounds, while the Mark 84, the largest in the series, weighs 2,000 pounds. The modular design allows them to be fitted with various guidance kits, such as JDAM and Pavoy, converting them into precision-guided smart bombs. The CBU 87, 89 and 97. The B2 can be loaded with up to 36 of these three different cluster bombs. The CBU-87B Combined Effects Munition CEM is a cluster bomb containing 202 submunitions designed to be effective against a range of targets, including personnel, armored vehicles and soft targets. The CBU-89B Gator is a cluster munition that dispenses a mix of anti-tank and anti-personnel mines to rapidly create minefields for area denial. The GBU-97 Sensor-Fused Weapon a more advanced smart cluster bomb contains 10 submunitions, each with 4 skied projectiles. These projectiles use infrared and laser sensors to independently detect and destroy armored vehicles by firing an explosively formed penetrator from above where the armor is thinnest. All three can be equipped with a wind-corrected munitions dispenser, WCMD tail kit, which provides GPS INS guidance, improving accuracy and turning them into the CBU-103, 104 and 105 respectively. Lastly, we have the Mark 62 Quick Strike Sea Mine, an airdropped naval mine, essentially a converted 500-pound Mark 82 general-purpose bomb fitted with a special kit to make it a mine. The B-2's immense payload capacity allows it to carry a significant number of these mines, up to 80 Mark 62s. This capability gives the B-2 a unique role in offensive mine warfare, allowing it to quickly and stealthily lay minefields in enemy waters from a standoff distance, effectively disrupting shipping lanes and naval operations without putting surface ships or other aircraft at risk. And that's it guys for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you guys again in our next video. Until then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.